Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Hey everyone, this is the last descriptor video for the album Artificial Insanity by Triskelion. The last song, similar to the first album, is a cover song. And again, I went with something that was not typical uh, that you'd expect from a thrash band to cover maybe. I picked a song that was not originally a metal song and did my best to turn it into some kind of a thrashy, upbeat metal tune. So the band this time, um, the first album was Billy Idol, a band that I liked a lot as a kid, still like now. And the band for this album is a band from Canada that were really huge in the early 80s here uh, in Canada. And as a young person getting into music and eventually heavier music, uh, of course we all start somewhere. And I remember getting this band's album from Columbia House on cassette. It was their first album. It's called Standing in the Dark, and it was from 1983. So here we go. Very, very metal looking album cover. As a kid, I really liked this guy's jacket. Um, Mark Holmes, the bass player, singer of Platinum Bond, of course, with his white and red biker coat. So this album was huge as a kid. I really liked it. And so when I was looking for a song to cover from the album, um, I thought of, uh, you know, probably my favorite song on here, which is a big hit, and it's called Doesn't Really Matter. This song is um, was a radio hit. I, it was probably number one in Canada. I didn't look up the stats, but it was it was a really big song. The band was big. So anyway, that's why I chose the song, just to do something different and something that I liked as a kid. I, I still like the band today, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't have covered it. And uh, again, just to do something different. And so besides myself on this one, we have, again, Raul, uh, and I just want to give a shout out to him. He's on almost all the songs on the album. Working with him has been awesome because uh, I send him my initial ideas, just my guitarist, record it to a click. And uh, very quickly he understands what it is I'm going for, and he might make a suggestion or two about things, but typically he really gets it and knows what I'm looking for and nails it every time. So. Just want to send out some shout out to Raul for doing such a killer job on both albums. So besides Raul, basically we got the lineup here of uh, my band Category 6. It's almost as if Category 6 is on the Triskelion album, which is fine by me. Uh, we have Keith Jackman on bass guitar. And of course the wonderful Amanda Jackman. She is the vocalist in Category 6, and she's on this song. I was hoping to have her on more than uh, one song on the album, but unfortunately, unfortunately, she didn't have the time to do more than one. But luckily, she's on this one. And the only guidance I gave to her was at the end of the song, um, the, the, the singer, original singer, Mark, gets really screamy at the end. Um, and it's pretty intense, and I knew she could do it, but it's not typically what you've heard her sing in... Um, I guess in category six so i said really really give it at the end and give it your all and i want to hear some really good screaming so the end of the song especially really blew my mind because it was something a little bit different and really intense and i just think it was such an amazing uh, job she did on the vocals so the song uh, we heavied it up uh, it has uh, a couple double kick parts in there to uh, bring it some life uh, more distorted guitars than the original um it's a bit heavier i I, I think it is heavier. I really like listening to uh, our version that we did of this. Uh, I like it more than the original even, which is blasphemous to say maybe for, for some, but I just think it just really took the song somewhere special. So I hope you like the song. I think it's killer. Uh, if you liked Platinum Blonde as a younger person or if you still like them now, maybe you'll like it. Maybe it'll be your gateway into checking out our music because you're a Platinum Blonde fan and you don't like, uh, you know, thrash metal, but we'll see. Um, another shout out, the intro speaking bit um, is a friend of mine from the UK, uh, Joe Kluth. She uh, did the uh, 
intro are you sitting comfortably uh, spoken part because um, the original had of course uh, I believe it was Mark's mom did it and she was British because he originally immigrated from uh, from the UK to Canada they kind of started with uh, you know he almost sounded like he wasn't uh, Canadian he almost had a British accent on some of his singing and kind of a their early roots are kind of punky and the, when they began in the late 70s and early 80s and they gradually drifted further and further from that as their albums go by and they got more I guess new wave and Duran Duran-ish kind of sound which there's nothing wrong with I like that too but their first album Standing in the Dark is a freaking classic of Canadian rock and hopefully we did it justice to covering the song it doesn't really matter thanks for watching the descriptor videos cheers if you were to